this is sunrise on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. We're just a few steps from our campsite. It's um, October 11th, Columbus Day. And it's almost seven o'clock in the morning. You can hear the wind blowing. It's uh, supposed to be a very, very windy day today, after 11 o'clock, especially in the morning. So we're gonna take a drive today, early. Hopefully before the wind really kicks up. And snow is forecast for tonight. But we're looking at right beyond this rock in the front, the white rock. Down in that canyon, that's a side canyon called the Transept. So you're actually looking here at a side canyon, very, very beautiful in the morning. Just go up a little bit. And maybe you could take a little look down into the transept. Goes back this way. We walked the transept trail yesterday, which is actually behind me. the south rim in the distance. You may see at the very left corner of the screen some mountains on the horizon. Those are the San Francisco peaks and Flagstaff is just beyond that on the left. Good morning from the Grand Canyon. Okay, we've reached Point Imperial. Wind is moderate, not too bad, but it's picking up. Let's take a look. Woo. see the cut in the land beyond this ridge. That may be the little Colorado. So we're going to see what else we can see here. Hi Kathy. This is even more magnificent later in the day. Uh, we're going to get some interesting um, shades of gray as we move along here. We're heading down the path to Point Imperial proper. We're going to be heading over to Cape Royal in a little bit. I'm not sure because I'm not too familiar yet with this, with the North Rim, but it might be right in the center of the picture. That might be Cape Royal where we're heading. Not sure. It might be beyond that. Let's go find Kathy and do this together. Okay, so here's Kathy at Point Imperial, the highest viewpoint of the Grand Canyon, over 8,800 feet. What do you think, Kat? Magnificent. It is.
And there's our vehicle that up to this point has been doing very well overall. We stopped at a point here called Walhalla Overlook. And we're going to see what we see from here. They say you can see Angel's Window and Cape Royal and the Colorado River. So let's go take a look down this little path. Different climate over here. Yeah, there's no wind at all. Much warmer than the last overlook. You're really close to these formations right here. I mean, these, you almost feel like you reach out and touch them. All right. And here we are. There is the Colorado River in the center of the picture, glistening in the sun. I think that's Cape Royal that we're looking at right in the center of the picture. Um, I can't quite, quite make out Angel's window though. It might be covered by some of those bushes. It should be like right over there should be Angel's window. And the south rim clearly visible. I wonder where Desert View is. I think it's very close by across the room. In fact, I see it. I see Desert View. You'll not be able to see it on this video, but it's right there. You can see the little Desert View Tower. There it is. I knew it was around here. Now there is Angel's window. I was way off in the last video when I was pointing toward where I thought it was. But there it is. We may go walk on top of it. And we're heading out to Cape Royal. here. All right, so we're off to Angel's window first. You caution near the edge. All right, a little caution. So here we are. We just walked over the Angel's Landing window. And this is where we came from earlier. Here we are again looking back at the Colorado River. So let's go to the point. So 
down here is a little drainage ravine. There's a couple of them that feed into the Colorado, I guess, eventually. And I am so very, very, very happy to be here. It's an amazing, amazing place to visit. autumn day out here today enjoying Columbus Day at the Grand Canyon Well, this is the view of our campsite. It's October 11th. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. And it's supposed to snow tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. We'll take a look and we'll see what this looks like tomorrow.